Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Either Imperium Scenarios as a Sorcerer. In the previous part, we did a long and um, quite difficult fight. We conquered this uh, bandit province. It was us against 14 uh, bandits. Uh, it was a good fight. I enjoyed that. And um, it revealed another part of the map for us uh, with two possible targets here. Free settlement. Well, free settlement is definitely a target, even though it's in a fort ring. And then these barbarians. And those should be doable as well. I don't think that in the third ring uh, they can be like too crazy. I think the maximum in the third ring is like 12 units. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure about that, but I think that tier three barbarians uh, are not that difficult. So we could uh, try that as well, I think. But I checked our army, and um, our bear has only 25 hit points. So I decided to start it with the free settlement, try to heal him up uh, at least a little bit, uh, and um, then we can. Uh, uh, try to attack those barbarians. Also, uh, we are quite close to level 12, so I think this fight should be enough uh, for the level up. And depending on what we get, you may change our plans. Either we can get more spells, that would be nice, that's one thing that I'd like to get, or even better would be a command. Uh, this command should open up uh, this slot, that would mean another uh, melee unit and I take a horseman I check this and uh, we can get him for 450 gold we can build the jousting arena and uh, that allows us to recruit horsemen I talked about this um, before bear might have decent damage but this slow mobility is just just sucks. Uh, really, on these large maps, the the mobility one is a huge penalty. So I want to have at least one mobile unit that can uh, take out uh, targets that are scattered around the map. We have to run uh, in between them. Uh, with the bear, it's not possible, and it basically allows them to easily uh, or it makes it easier for them to overwhelm us since we can't take them out uh, fast enough so the command will be probably the best level up uh, but we will see um, we just attack the free settlement and then we decide what the next move is going to be also it's gonna reveal uh, three more provinces so maybe there will be like another free settlement or something like that at this point I'd really like to see fights like free settlement, maybe more bandits, because those fights are not that dangerous and still give us decent amount of experience. It's even a decent chance that we could get some medals. So yeah, we can get more of those. I'll be really happy. Uh, okay, so let's start. Twelve units, no surprise here. That should be a good fight. Okay, positioning. We can probably stay like this. Don't know where they are anywhere. Anyway, and just want to heal the bear, really. Just give him one heal. Maybe I'm even gonna start with that. 34. Uh, which are we missing? 7. Maybe I'll try to give him one more. I'll see. Um, I still have to be careful because um, it's 12 units and we are not that strong, so I'll need spell support. Probably gonna start it with burn ammo on the bowman. Can we reach him? We can. Uh, yep. There we go. I have two crossbowmen, so I'm probably gonna need some. Uh, Spells for them as well. Here we have slingers. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna send the berry down. Uh, 
quite sure how I'll be able to handle all the wrench units. Here, I don't mean that uh, they would uh, uh, like be dangerous in a way that uh, they'll be able to kill something. I just want to avoid as much damage as possible. If we go after the barbarians next, I want everything to be at the uh, full hit points if possible. Um, here, I think it's time for haste. And the next turn. Maybe I could even go this way. Before it's still close enough. About you. Here I can move forward and paralyze this guy. I'd like to avoid uh, getting hit by the crossbowman. I'll probably save some spells for them. Burn their ammo. Okay, this should be fine. You have range defense 8, so... You should be able to handle uh, hits from slingers. Okay. Make sure that uh, we are covered in forest. Uh, you can move closer. Paralyze this guy so the pikeman can't get to the bear. You will just stay where you are, probably. One, two, three, four, or maybe move one tile closer. You can move closer. You can move closer and we can uh, paralyze these two and that should be fine for this turn. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Oh, that's the reason, it's a range of 5, I didn't expect the um, Slinger to have range 5. Okay. Missing one shot. This uh, the, uh, this guy that I left uh, on this hill from the start it is completely useless. I expected something coming this way, and uh, they're all in the middle. Um, oh, you're actually fine. This guy can't get to us yet. Okay. Two, four, still out of range. Should just take a hit from the sling. No, oh, it's paralyzed. Shouldn't take any hits at all. Okay, this is the time for last burn ammo. I'll still take some damage. I don't have more heals available okay let's start with this I mean it wasn't necessary I didn't realize there is an impassable obstacle Yep. 
even though on like four or five hit points they can still do some damage and we are basically back where we started never mind Okay, that's a kill. Now we need more T1 spells desperately. What can we do? Mm, just kill this guy, or at least try to kill that guy. Just shoot with everything, hopefully. No, it's not enough. That's pro still probably the fastest way how to take him out. Come on, someone kill him. <laughs> One hit point. There we go. Hmm. So it didn't really work the way I hoped because. Um, Managed to heal only three hit points on the bear and took damage on one one of our woodsmen. So, yeah, no change. Well, we have more experience. Hopefully, we get that level up. And if we get command, it will be amazing. No, we got health. <sighs> That's the worst option. Oh. Restoration exorcism where the fly the word of life wouldn't be horrible on the bear. The problem now is that um, we don't have the extra duration on our, our spells. So these buffs are significantly less effective than they can be. Raise ghoul that'll be way too expensive. I think I'll take another level of actually do we need another level of thaumaturgy? Usually I'm taking Thaumaturgy so I can use VAP or Sleep on a high resistance target, but we don't really care about it now with uh, the Paralyzing Poison. Thinking about taking the Necromancy here, uh, for some fights, and though the ghoul will be ridiculously expensive, it still uh, could actually win us the fight. Can easily get corpses in this army. I think I'm gonna do it. I'll try, uh, or I will use it only when absolutely necessary. But it could work. This also means that I have to change the spell set up a bit. Let's do it. And what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll get rid of the stone skin and take the ghoul instead because uh, I'd be using the stone skin in case the bear had to tank uh, uh, some damage. When I have ghouls available and like taking some damage with the bear that's only in fights where we like don't have enough crowd control and those are you know the really tough fights and in those fights I'm gonna use ghouls and basically they'll take the damage for the bear so the bear won't need a stone skin like, that's the plan that's why I'm uh, switching these two spells and the rest uh, can leave like this, but as I said, we need more T1 spells. Okay. Level up. So, more damage. Oh, and we have a metal. Perfect. Let's take it, of course, for the bear. A double stamina is really good. The bear is running out of stamina pretty fast, so this is gonna help a bit. Uh, more damage. Perfect. Those were Pretty damn good level ups. And 70 gems. Yes, please. And on top of that, we got a 
a new copper mine. So, plus two gold per turn. So everything except heroes level up was um, uh, pretty decent. Okay, what do we have around? Nomad steps, not going there. Barbarians and free settlement. Another one, two, three, four, free settlement in the four train. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Anything interesting here, by the way? Goblins, demonologist, nope. What does it look like with income? That's why I see on better with uh, when it comes to income a little bit. Okay, let's do this one. And probably on the way back, we're gonna go through the barbarians. How close are we to the first AI? Still quite far away, somewhere around here. I see mountains through the Walk of War. We have to go around here, so I think we have to go through Nomad Steps. It's still like I'd say 50 turns away at least. Okay, buildings. Can we build? No, can't build Illusionaries Guild yet. So let's build the Sages Guild and what else? Provincial buildings. It's another mill. And how does it look like with, the, with the, our upkeep? I have to keep an eye on that uh, uh, because um, now when we are getting medals here and there, those ranch medals are really expensive, eight uh, gold each. So I have to make sure that uh, we can pay for that. Trying. I don't think that we can uh, calm them down, but at least um, it will take some time before the rebellion. Okay, basically the same thing here. Move this guy down, and the bear. I can probably move to the middle. It might be better. So do something like this. And where are they? How many ranch units do I have? Mm. Okay, I think the bear is gonna move down. Four, six, Checking for forced march. I think we can still wait one turn. And now I start working on them. Uh, can we get through here? No, we can't. Maybe I'm gonna try to take out these two the spearman. This astral energy, but I realize that <sighs> can I st 
stop uh, the slinger. Yeah, I don't have time for that. I have to use burn ammo. Make sure that they can't hit us, but uh, it's okay. Uh, the bear is um, gonna take a hit from the militiamen here. And one, two, three, four. He's gonna get hit by the slinger as well. Oh, he didn't attack. Well, good for us. Can't decide what I want to do. Let me just use uh, the burn ammo. Is it enough? Nope. We can move closer and. Attack the melee shaman. Come on. More units taking damage. Let's use the astral energy now. <sighs> and try to kill the spearman. Ah, oh, this is horrible. Take so much damage. Four, six, eight. Okay, at least you can move closer. Use the last burn ammo. Do a forest march? Nope. Well, let's move the bear away. Maybe you can try to get some medals from this at least. Go. What about the swordsman? Probably no point in trying to kill him with the. Uh, with Bootsman, he's not gonna take any damage. So we'll just finish the fight. Okay, taking more and more damage. We need the healing. I can't get it. Let's see, what did we get here? Uh, another metal. That's nice. Uh, more damage. That's good as well. And you can keep exploring. Okay, anything interesting around here? Barbarians, another free settlement, uh, more free settlements. Um, so it seems that we're gonna do one more, uh, one more free settlement in this part. So probably not the most interesting fights ever, but I'm really happy for them. Mm, 
that's gonna help us so much. You're getting those easy level ups, getting medals. Let's see. Uh, it's gonna be a male. Also, we're getting more provinces, so it's improving our income. That's another thing. Getting oh, this one is nice. Six two. We're gonna start with this. Does it look like gems over 400? The illusionary battle is damn expensive, but it's worth it. It uh, should uh, should speed things up quite a bit. Uh, let's see. I think stamina. Here it's easier, it's hit points. Oh, and collect ammo. Uh, I forgot to mention this. I checked Bootsman, which level ups they can get, and uh, I forget to mention that they can uh, get collect ammo. In this case, that basically means infinite webs. If all of our guys get collect ammo, uh, we can keep five units paralyzed basically forever so if the paralyzing poison stays this way as, as it works right now it's by far the most broken ability in the game i think there are some fights i'll have to think about um, uh, what we can do or maybe when you find some locations um, i'll try some tough fights some high tier fights just uh, uh, using the collect ammo and paralyzing poison just do like a hydra or something like that just uh, thanks to uh, thanks to this combination there are some options problem is if there are too many units what would be nice um, something like uh, minor towers uh, that's usually pretty difficult to fight but with this they shouldn't be able to do anything or maybe trolls we could get fights like that all of this um, way there is not that many quite strong units that would be amazing targets for us hopefully you get something like that but uh, in this case I think I'm gonna take uh, ranged attack collect ammo we should uh, uh, have the option to take it uh, uh, on higher levels uh, multiple times so ranged attack and maybe extra ammo at this point I'm gonna prioritize and I'll risk a weight when we get it against something weaker might be a mistake how much ammo do we have nine So you're attack 6, you have a medal already, if I take even more damage, it'll be easier to get more medals. I'm gonna take the damage. Uh, here... Yeah, I'm gonna ignore counter attack. We ever get uh, like extra command and we should get at some point more command uh, we should get attacked uh, less and less often so counter attack will be uh, less and less useful let's take the hit point probably some of you guys won't agree with me with those last two choices but I was close, I decided for this, maybe if I uh, had the same choice one hour later or tomorrow, I would uh, choose differently, but today I decided to go this way. And let's do that one more fight. Grab this um, province with uh, plus the gem income. Only 10 units, it's actually getting easier. Here we may even have a chance to heal the bear.
How many range units? Still four. Okay, let's start. I'm still thinking about the haze, but I'm not sure that I want to do it. can stop this guy easily everything in the middle we should be able to stop uh, let's do it Okay, two down. Now, maybe we can move closer. Um, you can stop this guy. And what's your range? Five. One, two, three, four, five. We are still fine. It's gonna hit the bear. But again, his range defense is eight, so shouldn't take that much damage from range attack. Uh, range attacks this turn. Oh, this could be a problem. Ah, it's still fine. Okay, another one down. And the remaining ammo I'm gonna use for healing. That should work. Okay, this looks good. Uh, you can start shooting as well. You can come closer and... How much damage can you do? You can probably help with this guy. should be able to do at least something to him. should be another chance for a medal. I think we did um, quite a lot of the range damage. Let's see, that's a kill. This should be kill as well. Let's see, did we get anything interesting? Two hit points is decent, but it's all. Never mind. Keep exploring, and what do we have here? Should be fine, we can afford to pay 150 gold. And I think this helps the population mood. So let's try it. Yep, to improve the population mood a bit. Excellent. What else? We 
Okay, here we have a chance to get a ton of gold, and I think I'm gonna accept this. It's gonna decrease the population mood uh, by quite a lot, but it's usually like thousand gold. So let's uh, let's do it. Thirty gems is worth uh, the gold. The population mood drop is worth it as well. So let's do that and arrange the gathering of the gold. That's what we want to do. Uh, only 766 this time, but still. Excellent. We have a pump here, we do. I was worth it. What's new? Empty hills. Don't want to go there. More barbarians. Don't want to go there either. No locations. So, uh, we're gonna start with another free settlement in the next part. I'll be. I'll try to be careful not to take any damage there. And then we head back through these barbarians. How does it look like they are level up? 12. Okay, these two fights will definitely be enough to um, give us another level up hopefully that's gonna be command so we then could go all the way back to the capital grab a horseman thinking I might already build stables or jousting arena yeah let's do that or uh, it's the last year to build that we can build Let's actually wait in case I change my mind. If um, it wasn't the last uh, tier two building, I'd build it now. But um, uh, just in case I change my mind, it's the last slot, so we don't need the building immediately. Let's just wait. Okay, what does he find here? Retinue. That's a target. It's the only thing. Maybe those Medusas. That's something we could uh, do on the way back. If we don't get. Uh, if we don't get um, that command, barbarians, then go medusas, then check these empty hills, maybe. Excuse me. And we send the scout exploring somewhere else when he's done with this province. Uh, okay, so we still have uh, some options, some uh, uh, provinces and locations that we can fight, but. Um, mm, we're still in trouble. You know how. Don't have that many fights. Free settlement. Then I think these barbarians. Though it's not guaranteed. Um, Medusa's retinue. That's basically it. I think for now. So still not ideal. But as long as we can fight every turn, we should be able to handle this somehow. We are getting medals now. So the damage should be better once we uh, get the collect ammo on like three of our guys. It also help. Uh, ghouls should help. So yeah, I think we should be able to handle this scenario. At one point I wasn't sure, but um, uh, all these resettlements helped quite a bit. Okay, so yeah, this is all for it. This part, I hope that you like it, even though it's only th uh, only three free settlements. But um, it was actually quite important part of those medals. We improved uh, the economy thanks to that. We got the we got the um, illusionary battle. So all this will help us a lot. And the next part again, we're gonna focus on uh, leveling as much as possible. And I think um, we should get to something else than the free settlements. Maybe start thinking about some tougher fights. So, I, as I said, I hope that you like this part. Join me for the next one again, and until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.